hi welcome back today i'm going to show you how to draw this realistic car using pencil colors so let's get started so these are the art slides i'm going to use for this drawing and you can pause the video right here to note them down i draw the outlines using grid method and you can find all the references including this outline grid reference on my patreon profile link is in the description i'm using this a3 size paper from my ordinary smooth surface bristol paper pad and the drawing portion area is 11 cross 14 inches okay so first of all i'm filling the tire with a black 199 color very carefully and making sure that i cover all the nooks and corners to achieve smooth results. Keep the reference image in mind while adding such small details so that you can achieve the desired outcome without any mistakes, as it is very difficult to erase black color afterwards. For the highlights in the tire, I'm using a white 101 and adding these lines to make this area lighter. This step will make the tire look more 3D and realistic, just like this. Now to add brighter highlights and to make the rim shiny, I'm going to use my jerry roll pen to add these different types of curved and straight lines. This will make the tire rim look metallic and shiny. Moving on to the body of the car and I'm filling the area using blue 110 with variable pressure to add different shades. For the shadowed portion, I'm using 151 and filling the area thoroughly keeping the reference image in mind. I'm going back and forth with these lighter and darker colors to shade the required area. Now to blend these shades together, I'm using a blender pencil over them. I'm using this white blender pencil by Derwent which you can find from any art store nearby. To fine tune the highlights, I'm using white color to give the area a metallic and more defined look. By the way, you can use Faber-Castell classic color pencil set if you don't have these polychromos. Now for the thicker and brighter highlights, I experimented using this snowman white pigment marker and added these extra bright highlights in these wide and bigger areas, which turned out better than the jelly roll pen. And then to fine tune these highlights and to add smaller intricate ones, I'm using my jelly roll pen. Now as you can see, these highlights look unblended, so I'm using my blender pencil and going over them to smoothly blend them with the previous layers. I'm using this dark blue 151 to add shadows on the side skirts. And by the way, you can get access to our premium content and support this channel through Patreon. You can sign up through different membership levels and get access to all the outline and grid references, etc. We have an ever-growing library of hundreds of exclusive and real-time tutorials. And you will also get access to four new tutorials every month. You can also post your artworks in our active community of patrons and participate in our weekly critique sessions where I give my honest and positive critiques on your artworks so you can improve your skills and get better with your drawing. Visit the link in description and become a premium member today. Now moving on to the door and first of all I'm adding a base layer using a 110. I'm using a variable pressure to achieve the required darkness in the outer portions of the door. And then I'm using my 199 to fill in the inner side of the car and door with the same variable pressure technique. So that all the parts look separate from each other instead of a pitch black shade without any details. Okay, now moving on to the seat and firstly I'm using a grey color to add base layer thoroughly. And then using a darker blue 157 over the base layer to add a little tint of blue and shadows on the seat. Now to blend these layers together, I'm using a blender pencil over the previous layers very carefully. After blending the layers, some of the shades and details got faded. So I'm going over the previous layers again to readjust the highlights and shadows using white and black color. To make the area look more realistic and 3D, I'm adding sharp and brighter highlights using a cherry roll pen. I'm adding these small lines in the direction of the parts of the car's interior and then blended the sharp edges using my blender pencil. This will make the highlights look softer from the ends and brighter in the center. Just like this. Now for the contrast in the door, I'm using 247, mainly focusing on the sides of the door. To blend and add some highlights in the center of the door, I'm using white color over it. This step will help the previous blue to blend with the rest of the layers. I'm also using blender pencil in the areas where I need a smoother look. 
Moving on to the side mirror and I'm going to repeat the similar process of defining the outline first using black and gray color and then adding a base layer and contrast using blue. For the highlights, firstly I'm using a white color and then to further fine tune them and to add brighter ones, I'm using my electric razor afterwards. I'm adding these small lines and dots very carefully to make the mirror look shiny and 3D. Now I'm using my cherry roll pen to add these fine highlights along the bottom of the door just like this. Moving on to the windshield and this portion inside it doesn't have a lot of colorful details to it. So I'm darkening the directional lines first using black color and also filling in the darker areas with the same color afterwards. For the seats, I've already added the base layer using black color with less pressure and now adding second layer over it using a gray color. This step will give the seat grayish look and it will also blend the previous base layer. Now to add highlights, I'm using a white color with a sharp tape to add the small and softer highlights in the seat and surrounding areas. Such highlights and details are very important in a realistic drawing. So make sure not to skip these teeny tiny details. To make the interior look more shiny, I'm adding these small highlights using a cherry roll pen. Moving on to the remaining portion of the windshield and I'm repeating the similar process as I did earlier. If you notice, this area has a slight blue tint because of the door. So for that, I'm using a blue 110 to add this light layer and then making it look a little bit lighter by adding a layer of white over it and then using a blender pencil over these areas afterwards. Okay, now moving on to the bonnet area and I'm repeating the similar process as I did for the door and sides of the car. I'm adding a base layer first with a variable pressure keeping the reference image in mind and then I'm darkening some of the directional lines to get the outline of the area. Okay, now I'm using a blender pencil to blend this layer very carefully. Before moving on to the highlights, I filled this tire area with a pitch black shade to get a proper outline for the surrounding areas. And then added highlights using the electric razor first and then further fine tuned it using a mono zero razor and white color. Make sure to keep the tip of your razor sharp while adding such intricate details. You can rub it on a rough and textured surface like this to get a clean and sharp tip. Now for the highlights in the bonnet, I'm using a white color first and then adding contrast and shadows using black and darker blue color in the required areas. Moving on to the right door and first of all, I'm adding a base layer using blue 110 with lesser pressure in the lower portion of this right door and then adding the darker shade by maintaining the higher pressure in the upper portion using the same 110. I'm also darkening the frame of the door and side mirror with black color. Make sure to fill this black very carefully only in the required areas because it is very difficult to fully erase a black color. Moving on to the window of the car and I'm adding a base layer using 231 first and then adding a little tint of blue using 110 with a lighter pressure and then I'm blending these layers using a blender pencil afterwards. Before moving further, I'm going to grab white color and rub it on a scraper like this to get a sharp tape for fine details. I'm using this color to add these intricate and soft highlights in the side mirror and other parts of the door. Now for the extra bright highlights and details, I'm using a jerry roll and adding these small lines and dots over the previous ones to make them look more crisp and shiny. To make the edge of the door straight and sharp, I'm firstly sharpening the tip of my electric razor and then erasing the excess outline and spilling of the color to get a proper shape. Just like this. For the rim of the tire, I'm repeating the similar process of shading and highlighting as I did before in the back wheel. Okay, now moving on to the bumper and first of all, I'm adding a base layer using 110 with a lower pressure and then increasing it gradually to build the shade. And then I blended this layer with a blender pencil afterwards. Now when I added the next layer over this blended area, the shades were not showing up as they should due to smoothness of this area. So never use a blender pencil if you want to add darker layers in the future as it will smoothen the surface so much that the next layer will slip and not show as dark as it should. As you can see in this area clearly that the black is not working as it should. And to achieve the required shade like the reference image, I had to switch the color to match this shade. So now I'm using this 247 in these darker areas to get the desired outcome. Now I'm shading the highlights and grill with a black color by keeping the pressure variable to achieve required darkness. 
make sure to keep your color sharp while adding such thin details. Okay, so the lower right portion is darker in the reference image. So I'm adding paste layer first and then adding contrast and shadows using darker blues. Now filling the rest of the portion and adding shadow beneath the car as well. I'm adding the details just like the way I did before for the rest of the car. To make the lights look shiny, I'm using a jelly roll pen and adding these curved lines and dots. I'm also adding small details on the bonnet and bumper as well using jelly roll pen and white marker. Now I'm using a blender pencil to blend the edges of these bright highlights I've added with the white marker. For the grill on the front, I'm adding this brighter line first and then adding the softer horizontal lines using the same white color pencil. And with this last step, we are done with this realistic BMW i8. After the shorts and cringe content to cover the YouTube, it is really hard nowadays to get the recognition which the art instructors deserve. So please leave a like and share this video with your friends. It helps me a lot as an artist. So thank you so much for watching and I'll